uh, the first week in June. Yes. Okay. And um, to your knowledge, the last time Kaylee was at that home was either Monday the 16th or the day before the 15th. Monday the 16th. Were your parents at the house those days? Uh, my father was at the house on uh, the 16th in the morning, and uh, that's, again, what, what he has said. Um, and my mother and Kaylee were the ones that went to see my grandfather on the 15th. Uh, Casey did not go. Um, I believe my dad was home on that day, too, or was working or something. From the from the June fifteenth till July fifteenth, were your mom and dad staying the, the night at that house? Yes, to my knowledge. So yes. They were there the whole time. To my knowledge, yes. So when Casey, when Kaylee didn't come home, they knew that. Yes. And when Casey didn't come home, they knew that. Yes. Because Kaylee had her own bed in her own bedroom. Exactly. Okay. So there's a there's a month where. Did Casey come home at all, to your knowledge, during that month? Uh, my dad claims that she did uh, one day. I want to say it was about a week after, um, maybe around the 22nd or 23rd or so. Um, he said that she came home for a short period of time. And I know through other folks that uh, she had been to the house uh, well, like when my folks weren't there, like during the day or something like that, uh, with uh, like she came there with Tony Lazaro. Um, during during the time during this month that was going on, did you have conversation with your mom and dad about they're not showing up? We don't know where Kaylee is. I never had heard from it at all. The whole month i had been nope. Again, living in a different residence. Actually, that time uh, was very busy for me with work, traveling, and and things of that nature. So. Now that n- during that time you said you never heard about it, you never okay. Since that time, have you ever? When, now that you've talked to your parents, have you ever said, "Were you worried? Did you wa- wonder where she was? Were you looking for her during that month?" Oh sure, I mean you know my you know we've had that conversation plenty of times, and yes, they were worried. Uh, you know my mom claims that she talked to uh, Casey every day, if not every day, pretty darn close to it. So, you know, and was always told that, you know, they're coming home the next day or they're coming home, you know, a couple days thereafter or whatever. So she was always appeasing my mom to get to the next day or whatever. So your mom told you that they were speaking every day? Yes. Um, No. Or texting at a minimum. During this month period, uh, I want to ask you about a time that... You may have gone out looking for Casey during this month period. Really? No, KC. KC. Let me let me I'll, let me ask the question. And, and uh, between the month of June fifteenth and July fifteenth, let's let's use that window, that month window. Isn't it true that there came a time that you went out looking for KC, and that you in fact found learned that she was downtown at a bar downtown and and let me get this out and you went and you went to that bar to see her what objects again I'm going to certify as irrelevant this has nothing to do with the defamation case well I'm going to I'm going to have to say it has everything to do with the defamation case because if we can prove who had something to do with the disappearance of Kaylee Anthony, that exonerates our client and it makes it the fact that she could not have been the person that took it, took the, took the child. Okay, well, first of all, this case is a defamation suit is, in fact, first of all, that you have to prove that there was, in fact, as I understand it, you must, the elements just have to do with making a public statement which causes harm. Correct. So, what does the fact that, other than the statements that Miss Anthony made or that someone else made in regards to Miss Gonzalez, what does this line of questioning have to do with that? Because if Zenaida Gonzalez 
did not abduct and kill this child and someone else did, it has direct bearing on this case. Actually, it does not. Sir, truth or falsity is the centerpiece of any defamation case. Falsity comes about by proving someone else did it, she did it. If you want to instruct them not to answer, go ahead. I will warn you. If you do, we're going to see come back and we're going to see fees and costs for having to come back because that it's our position that objection is not well founded. You do what you got to do. I just want to, uh, as not, a gentleman, give you the heads up. I understand. And like I said, I mean, if it has to do with y- y- falsity, what you're so saying we don't is need that. To discuss it, honestly, because we're all trying to get are done. You, I wanted to get it done. And, and, we, and we are going to be seeking fees and costs if we have to go over there because this is, this is very, very relevant. I disagree. Are you still instructing him? Can he, may he and answer? By the way, relevance is not a grounds to instruct someone not to answer. Correct. The rules. But anyhow, take a position. Let's move forward. Could he answer that? There's something I'd like to say. Go ahead. If he wants to answer, go, go ahead. ahead and answer then. First, actually, I do need to correct. Um, my mother did uh, tell me of uh, that Casey and Kaylee hadn't been home. She called me on uh, July 3rd. Uh, she called me probably about eight o'clock at night. I totally forgot okay. about and that. that. And that and that is when you decided when to go I, looking for her. I, I started looking online, figured out she was supposed to be at a at a party and all that stuff. Now I'm not getting July. completely into that. There's some there's something that I want to say that isn't related to a di- direct line of questioning. Uh, and this is the first time that I'm even going to address uh, the the woman a- across the table from me, uh, uh, Zenaida, Zenaida or Zenaida. Sorry. Because everything prior to this has never been in regards to this Zenaida. This, ma'am, uh, I saw her MySpace page, which was forwarded to me anonymously or you know, from tipsters and things like that during this process in July as well, you know, saying, you know, this is a Zenaida. Could this be the Zenaida? I got hundreds of those. Because of the age... And because of all the other things that were, um, that were listed out, the description that my sister gave my parents, the description that my sister gave the police, uh, the fact that my sister said that, that this is not, you know, that when they showed a picture of her and said no, you know, all those things, that has never been, you know, that's been poppycock the whole time. You know, it's, it's been, if there was... A chance that that was that that was the Zenaida. Right, let's go. Would, her and I would have had conversations well prior to this. So, I don't know how I could be more clear than that. Now, are you aware that your sister has said that she never looked at a picture of Zenaida and denied ever looking at a picture of Zenaida Gonzalez? For for this yes. this lady right here, yeah. that's news to me. Okay. Now, your your recollection has been refreshed. You do now remember that your mom called you and said yes. Casey hasn't been home for two weeks. You got online. It was a little, a little longer than that. Yeah. You start looking. You start trying to track her down. Mm-hmm. You become worried. Oh sure. You then, at some point in time, did track. Uh, Casey down, didn't you? Uh, never got to see her. But you found out where she was? No, I never... I tried to go where she said she was going to be. She wasn't there. How did she say... Started, did, did I she called tell you, her. Now, let me ask you this question. Did she tell you where she was going to be? No, my sister had no idea that I was looking for How her. Did you, who were you talking to about where she was? I didn't find out from anybody where she was going to be. I found out online through, like, Facebook and MySpace where she was going to be at a party. Right, because I've looked at that MySpace business, and, and you found out on MySpace that she was going to be at a party. Correct? I actually found out at Facebook specifically okay. where she was, yes. Excuse me, I'm not as good about Facebook and right. MySpace as you guys. Uh, but you found out she was going to be at a party, and then you went to that party, correct? Yes. And when you went to that party, where was this party? Um, the Dragon Room uh, downtown. Okay. And when you went to the party, you went. Did she know you were coming? She ended up finding out from a friend of hers prior to showing. You know, prior to when she would have showed up, she never did. So, so a friend told a friend tipped her off that you're on your way to the Dragon Room. Okay. 
or that I was there, yeah. And when you went there, she wasn't there? No, well, I did not see her at all. Did you wait there for her at the Dragon Room? <laughs> I was there in downtown, in the greater downtown area, probably until 3 in the morning. And she never showed up? I never saw her. 